The F-35 Lightning II's rise as NATO's stealth fighter of choice has cast uncertainty over the Eurofighter Typhoon's future, despite its legacy as Europe's premier fourth-generation jet. Designed for network-centric warfare, the F-35's low observability, advanced sensors, and interoperability with allied forces offer strategic advantages the Typhoon cannot match. While the Eurofighter remains unmatched in dogfighting agility, modern combat increasingly prioritizes beyond visual range engagements and electronic dominance, realms where the F-35 excels. This paradigm shift has led nations like Germany and the UK to prioritize F-35 acquisitions, threatening the Typhoon's production lifeline. Yet the Typhoon's fate hinges on more than just technology. As F-35 orders surge globally, exceeding 3,000 units compared to the Eurofighter's 680-plus, BAE Systems Typhoon assembly lines in the UK have nearly halted after fulfilling Qatar's 2023 contract. The Royal Air Force plans to retire 30 Tranche 1 Typhoons by 2027 without new orders, redirecting funds toward expanding its F-35B fleet and the 6th Generation Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. Meanwhile, the Eurofighter fights back through upgrades and niche demand. Recent Tranche 4 variants now feature ASA radar, rivaling the F-35 systems, enhanced electronic warfare suites, and expanded weapon compatibility. Germany's 38 aircraft Quadriga order and Spain's 45-unit Halcon program demonstrate enduring European commitment, while Saudi Arabia and Kuwait continue operational reliance. However, these sales pale against the F-35's dominance in markets like Poland and Turkey, nations once considered typhoon prospects, but now leaning towards stealth capabilities. This tension between legacy systems and fifth-gen priorities creates a strategic dilemma. Procuring F-35s strengthens NATO interoperability, but risks eroding Europe's defense industrial base with 23,000 UK jobs tied to typhoon production versus 20,800 for the F-35. While the Typhoon costs 100 million pounds per unit compared to the F-35A's 88 million pounds. Its supporters argue preserving this capacity is vital for maintaining combat aircraft design expertise ahead of GCAP's 2035 rollout. Ultimately, both jets may share skies rather than force outright replacement. The RAF plans to operate Typhoons until 2040, using them for air policing and missions where stealth isn't critical while F-35s handle high-threat environments.